Jordan Shaw seems to have very little in common with today's top drivers. The 26-year-old has had a history of life-threatening kidney problems and underwent a failed transplant when he was 16 years old. He's been waiting for a new one ever since. When I knew I needed another transplant, there was a little, almost depression. You, you don't like to think about that. I just went on my, my, my days and hoped I would get a phone call getting that transplant. Through his own tragic circumstances, nationwide driver Joey Gase would create a connection and a lifelong fan. It was two years ago that the then 18-year-old Gase found his mother collapsed in their home. And I saw my mom laying on the ground and she was breathing really, really funny and weird. And then we went down to the hospital and uh, they had the doctors look at her, run a few tests, and they said that they're, she, they don't think she's gonna make it. Gase's mother, Mary, died that night from a brain aneurysm at the age of 44. But doctors gave Gase the opportunity to have her death contribute to life. I had to sign all the paperwork because a few months before that was my 18th birthday and my mom wasn't married, so I was the one who legally who had to do everything. And then they told us we had to start thinking about uh, if she would want to be an organ and tissue donor. And uh, so we thought about it and we knew my mom, she always liked helping people. Gase's decision meant that Jordan Shaw's five-year wait for a second transplant was finally over. The night before the transplant, I didn't sleep at all. Uh, you, you just have a lot of things going through your mind. You do think about the person that passed away. Uh, at least I did. How am I going to live this life uh, to honor this person? The surgery a success, Shaw has been living an active life since, but he never forgot the family whose gift saved him. He wrote a letter to Gase to express his thanks and got an invite to meet in return. And in August of 2012, I got a letter from Joey Gase, and he said, I am a NASCAR driver out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and I have a race coming up next week in Newton, and I would love to have you there and meet you. I didn't hesitate at that at all. I, I went straight for it. Nice to meet you, nice to meet you too. You? Good. 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 Really good. Yeah. Absolutely. Finally putting a face, uh, a name, to my kidney, it really, uh, it really came full circle for me. I can't say thank you enough, man. I can't say thank you enough. Me and Jordan just put everything in perspective for me and my family, and knowing that my mom was able to live on through him and how big of an impact my mom made in his life. I mean, you grew up, you grew up fast. Oh man, <laughs> you're fine, let it go. <laughs> you, uh... There's plenty of people that uh, your mom helped. I don't want them. And I'm here. So. Organ donation has become a platform for Gase, and at both races at Iowa this year, he showcases his support for the cause with the Donate Life America car. His mother's image featured prominently on the hood. I just feel so fortunate to be able to do that and also be able to honor my mom. I mean, it, it's speechless. These people passed away and they've saved so many lives, uh, me included. It's a pretty powerful picture. And then he drives the nationwide car in front of thousands and thousands of people to get the word out for more people to become organ donors. It's kind of an awe-inspiring 